راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين We start in the name of Allah the compassionate and the merciful All praise is due to Allah the Almighty and may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his Prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions and his followers all until the day of resurrection I welcome you to this second um, lesson of the series on tafsir in Zed Academy and of course uh, we're very happy to be with you and we already explained in the previous lesson the uh, meaning of tafsir and how tafsir is being taken from uh, certain uh, sources and of course we explained all that in detail now how would we uh, let's address to today the uh, development of tafsir how tafsir started in history from the time when it started at the time, uh, the first revelation upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam until the uh, authorization, uh, 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 authoring all these books on tafsir that we find today, which is, mashallah, a um, big number of, of books of tafsir with all the differences among the various uh, books of tafsir. Let me explain that, and we're going to cover uh, how this is uh, this is developed first uh, the glorious Quran itself uh, explained some of the terms a part of it, uh, it sometimes it comes in 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 the same surah or in different surah it sometimes the, the the word itself is being explained or particular terms as I explained in the previous lesson we talked about for example Alif Lam Mim in Surah Al Baqarah, Dalik Al Kitab Ula Rayba Fi Huda Lil Muttaqeen. And then immediately the Glorious Quran says, Aladina Yukimuna Salat, Aladin Umir Rayba Yukimuna Salat, Women Mara Zaknahum Yufakun. So that is, that is the first one uh, to, to start with. And then it explains in, in the following ayahs the meaning of the uh, term Al Muttaqeen. So that is Tafsir Al Quran Ibil Quran. So explaining Quran via the glorious Qur'an. Secondly, and I'm talking now about generally, let me not, not explain the whole thing, but give you the, uh, the um, uh, first how uh, it developed. Then the tafsir of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam, he would explain to the companions the meaning of this particular ayah. Either uh, he himself would explain or uh, in answering some of their questions regarding some particular ayahs or uh, a companion would understand uh, would not understand the meaning and then the Prophet would correct that understanding by giving the right explanation and then the Sahaba or the companions radiallahu anhum they would uh, give you the meaning as well of uh, what a particular ayah would mean and then we talk about at tabi'in after the generation of the Sahaba or the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him. Of course, we come to the uh, uh, tafsir of at tabi'in the second generation, the following generations uh, of the uh, Sahaba, Ridwanullahi alayhim. And then we talk about the tafsir of the scholars of, uh, of Al Quran, the uh, scholars of tafsir themselves, who actually uh, wrote uh, books, sometimes. Uh, short or long uh, regarding the meaning of the glorious Quran based on their own understanding, their own knowledge, their own uh, understanding of language and so on. Let me 
uh, explain first the uh, these five stages. First, uh, the uh, tafsir based on the glorious Quran itself. So Quran itself uh, uh, explains what Quran, what, Quran uh, what, what some of the verses are in, in the glorious Quran or either in a different uh, surah, for example. Um, uh, I explained, I gave you the example in the previous lesson uh, regarding Surah Al-Qari'ah. Al-Qari'atu ma al-Qari'ah wa ma adraka ma al-Qari'ah yawma yakunu al-nasu kal-farash al-mabthuth wa takunu al-jibalu kal-ihni al-manfush. So Allah explains about the striking calamity that is Al-Qari'ah. And uh, he said, what do you know about Al-Qari'ah? And then it's when people spread um, uh, like uh, these uh, 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 butterflies who are, uh, uh, you know, scattered. Just, just like to give you an explanation of what this, that is. One of the uh, names of uh, the days of Al Qiyama. So that is that is one. I also gave you the example of Inna al Insana Khuliqa Halua. Man was created. Uh, so anxious. إِذَا مَسَّهُ الْخَيْرُ جَزُوعًا إِذَا مَسَّهُ الشَّرُ جَزُوعًا وَإِذَا مَسَّهُ الْخَيْرُ مَنُوعًا So when he's being touched by uh, uh, evil, he is uh, uh, unhappy um, and he uh, is, you know, very fearful uh, of what ha would happen to him. And if he's being touched by good, then he would, uh, he would be uh, with, withholding whatever Allah has given him. So that is, that is how the Qur'an itself explains what Qur'an is. Secondly, we talk about the tafsir of the Prophet wasallam. Now, of course, there are some general statements or general ayahs that were uh, revealed in the glorious Qur'an. And then the Prophet wasallam would address specifically the meaning of a general ayah or um, when there's a, a, a very wide term, he would specify exactly what it means. Uh, let me explain to you, because sometimes we get this understanding when, when people say, well, it's not explained in the, in, in the sunnah. What is the meaning of وَأَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةَ وَأَتُ zakah? Establish salah and give uh, out zakah. How would we do that? Well, it's not explained in the Quran how we exactly move from one position to another, what we say inside each salah. It is not explained in the glorious Quran. However, it is explained in the sunnah. So the Prophet ﷺ made, made uh, sure that he explained in details uh, what a person uh, says and does in his or her salah. So that is, that is how uh, the, the, these general uh, statements have been made uh, so uh, clear and, um, and how could we put them into, into practice. It is by the tafsir of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. And uh, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, for example, explained uh, the word ziyada, meaning the extra thing that is being added. Allah says in the glorious Quran in Surah Yunus, لِلَّذِينَ أَحْسَنُ الْحُسْنَ وَزِيَادَةً For those who did well, they are giving al-husna and extra, something beyond that. What is, what is the extra besides al-jannah when Allah rewards uh, the, the believing men and women with, uh, with paradise, with jannah? Allah, uh, and then they would be given an extra, and that extra is to gaze at the countenance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is to look at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Another ila wajhillahi al kareem, as was reported by Al Imam Muslim in his hadith. So that is what is what is meaning what the meaning of ziyada in, in this respect. So that is that is important. And uh, in this uh, respect, um, you would be asked, for example, what is uh, the meaning of tafsir al-Qur'an bil-Qur'an? 
and tafsir al-Quran be sunnah. How would you, how would you, you know, give me, give me examples of how would the Quran explains itself. Look through the glorious Quran and find examples. Also find examples how in the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, you can go back to some of the books of hadith and look for some explanations of the Guru's Quran. Some, some authors in, in, in the books of hadith have given like um, explaining uh, the glorious Quran. You'd find that in the books of hadith. Find out uh, uh, these and, um, and, and take the examples. Secondly, uh, the people of knowledge talked about uh, the uh, gazing at the countenance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, looking at the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Of course, on the day of judgment, who's going to be able to do that? Can you, can you go, at, go ahead and, and find the um, various opinions regarding uh, the, looking at Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Of course, no one is able to see Allah in, um, in, in this life. However, uh, the believing men We'll, we'll see him, and of course, you'll, you'll come across some of the ayahs uh, like Wujuhu Yawma Idin Nadira Ila Rabbiha Nadira. So, beautiful, shining uh, faces will be looking at uh, uh, Allah to, to uh, their lords. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, I need you to mention some of that. So, these are the things. Uh, that we are addressing, uh, and it's very, very important to first depend and look at the explanation and interpretation of the glorious Quran from the Quran itself. That's why one has to be knowledgeable of the glorious Quran itself. And then you go into the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ because what, was, what would come in general would be specified and explained in details by the Prophet and then also some other uh, uh, opinions which, which I'll come inshallah in the coming episode regarding the uh, uh, three uh, uh, other uh, ways of how tafsir developed through history and how it depended first on the explanation of the Quran by the glorious Quran and the explanation of the Quran by the sunnah and hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And I'm very happy and glad to be with you. And inshallah, in the coming episode, we'll cover the other ways and how this developed through uh, history until we have today. All these uh, books, uh, huge books of tafsir that have been developed and are easy and, and accessible uh, to um, all the students of knowledge. Until I see you, inshallah, in the coming uh, lesson, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان